welcome back to All Keisha TV. I'm super excited because I'm telling you guys we do have here Claire with us. So Claire is super excited to tell you all about our headline. Plus our Steam Key Box giveaway will be launched today by Claire. So guys, say hi to Claire. I'll be handing over to Claire right now. So see you. This is Claire, and I am going to be hosting this uh, segment. No worries, I'm invisible for now. We were just talking about the wheel because for some reason it doesn't show the actual wheel. But don't worry, the mods are on it, May is on it, and we're going to be talking about PUBG Corp. Epic Games infringement issue has been taken to court after suggesting that they might take action. Blue Hole and PUBG Corp. have finally taken legal action against Epic Games on the ground of copyright infringement because of the similarities between Fortnite and uh, Player Unknown Battleground. So this suit was filed in Seoul Central District Court against the Epic Games Korea specifically. The case will determine whether Fortnite's Battle Royale mode infringes on PUBG, specifically on items and user interface. All right, so uh, hey, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to All Key Shop TV, where we give you guys daily gaming news, updates, and even giveaways 24 7 every 40 minutes. And we're here, we're live actually right now, guys. So if you have any questions, you can just comment down below, and we are going to read it to you guys publicly. And um, Anski2018 is saying happy watching All Key Shop TV, guys. And uh, Herminator is here, apparently uh, in Estonia. Herminator, hi, I haven't really seen you. This is my first time. Dots, you're back. What is up, Dots? And Ariska is here. Dots says Claire Time. I hope I say her name correctly. Yeah, that's very correct. Hi, Risco. Hi, everybody. Now, uh, in just two days after its launch, State of Decay 2 was able to gather over a million players into the zombie apocalypse. This doesn't account for the game's total sales, though, as the survival sandbox is available through Microsoft's Game Pass subscription service. Undead Labs has also revealed that players collectively played over 6 million hours, streamed over 3.5 million hours on Mixer, Twitch, YouTube from May 18 to 22. So what do you guys think about State of Decay? I love zombie games, and I feel like uh, they really executed it very well. So uh, Holy Faz says, uh, what's happening? Patient. Oh, doctor, I'm so nervous. This is my first operation. Doctor says, don't worry. Mine too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Juan Gino says, hello, Sister Claire. Hello, brother Juan Gino. What's up? How is everything? And Mysterious Dot says, hi, Claire, again. Dots, how is life? How is uh, your work? How is your day? Tell me guys about it. Let's start a conversation below. And um, I'd like you guys to know that the recent reveal of a female soldier on the cover of Battlefield 5 has the internet arguing that this is not historically accurate. The general manager of EA DICE, Oscar Gabrielson, did say that the female characters are here to stay. Yoko Taro, the director of Near Automata, gave two cents about the issue by saying in a tweet that was translated into English, meanwhile in Japan, schoolgirls ride tanks. <laughs> Meaning they're having like the female dominated world here in video games. But I think the issue here is the fact that they want to be historically accurate because remember, we tried to uh, speculate that it was going to be World War II. And as you guys know, usually the girls are nurses and usually the guys are soldiers. What do you think about this? Racism or are they just not being accurate about the timeline? And uh, also we have here Dot saying, didn't I say about uh, State of Decay two years ago? Uh, two days ago. Yeah, I know. That's why. So I want to know your opinion about State of Decay. Have you actually played it? Are you planning on playing it? Do you want to be part of the hype? Now, play as a Harmon Smith, guys, once again from the remaster of Killer7. It has been announced during the Grasshopper Manufacturer 20th Anniversary Spectacular Panel at Momocon 2018. The game was first launched on GameCube and PS2. It's already been 13 years since that time. 
time. And Grasshopper manufacturers said that the game is a graphical refresh rather than a remake. Killer7 is known for its stylistic gameplay and its storytelling as well as visuals. So we'll talk about that later. If you guys have played it, I think it might be like a nostalgic affair. What do you guys think about this? Tell me about it here in the comment section below. Now, uh, Ta, speaking about the comment section we have, Risco says uh, 5 or 10 GPUs is less or more to Herminator. That's big money, 20k per month. What are you guys talking about? GPUs? Are you talking about PCs? Is that it? And uh, right now, we want to talk about something else, like Fano is coming to GTA 5. Are you guys still not over Infinity War? Because Thanos is a mod for GTA 5 in the works for Julio NIV. Now, the well-known modder has already brought the Hulk, Ghost Rider, Iron Man, Dragon Ball, and Crisis into Rockstar's Crime Simulator through past mods. Development for the mods is still ongoing, but videos of the purple giant teleporting, shooting power beams, conjuring meteors, and jumping sky already have the fans excited. There's really no ETA about this, but we'll keep you guys posted only here at All Keyshop TV, where we give you guys the latest in the gaming news industry, like the crispiest and the juiciest of news. Now, speaking of uh, the most updated news, Battlefield 5 includes real money currency. What does this mean? Well, Battlefield 5 has this in game currency that you can purchase with real world money. Does this mean microtransactions? Of course! A grind currency is also available by simply playing the game. Now, players can be assured that this in game currency can only be used for cosmetic items instead, of course, giving unprecedented level of customization to your soldiers, your weapons, and your uh, vehicles. With that being said, anything that can make your soldier weapon or vehicle stronger can only be obtained by playing the game. So no worries, guys. This isn't going to be pay to win. It's just going to be basically, you know, making your character look pretty. Okay, so Herminator says to Rusko84, the mining machine is a uh, 4X 1080Ti. Coolio, you guys are talking about specs and processors, but mining, are you guys talking about data mining? Are you guys into coins? Because I have a friend who does that, and I still have no idea how that works. And apparently it's now this big networking scam. I don't know, does it still exist? I thought the bubble already popped. Anywho, uh, Fortnite has apparently sprouted a whole new profession which lets expert players earn money on the side. A BBC report showed that some talented players offering to sell their time and play as a bodyguard or what they call buddy. So essentially, buddy's role is to coach a player on how to become better at the game. And one player reportedly charged more than $9 per hour. This is a lucrative career, guys. Some people even charge more as a coach, charging up to $27 an hour. Epic Games has yet to issue issue a statement on this. All right, and uh, we're also going to talk about Virtus Pro wins ESL1 Dota 2 tournament. The Dota 2 ESL1 tournament at the Arena in Birmingham has concluded, and the big winners are the Russian squad Virtus Pro. Their run was very flawless. It was a 3.0 in the grand final over Optic Gaming. The team will bring home a huge trophy with a 500 thousand dollar pool for the prize future plans for virtus pro as said by the team player pavel 9 pasha uh, sorry how do you say this kvastinov the third win at esl is now going to go to china to play more dota optic gaming received two hundred thousand dollars for coming in second but that's still pretty good that's still really big Wanja Noe says, women in the game, cosmetic items to make the character look pretty. I see where this is going. Well, this is going to be some kind of dress up. Maybe. No, I think that they're just trying to include the female market. Because as you guys know, the female market is the one who actually wants to pay for in-game currencies, for customization. I don't know. But I think the argument here is that it won't be historically accurate. What do you think of that? Holy Fast says, I suck at Fortnite. You're not the only one. I even suck at PUBG. <laughs> and Jay Shark says, Hey, Jay Sharks, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How was your day? Wanjanu says, Well, and their purpose is just the same gender rule stuff that is going on for a few years now. I think it's just inclusivity. I think that's it. L Chris 
tells uh, my favorite food hunter here is a uh, hi brother <laughs> Jay Sharks. Now Electric Square has announced a free to play racer dubbed Miami Street made in partnership with Microsoft Studios for Windows 10 PCs. In a post on the game's Facebook page, the developer said that Miami Street is a new type of racing game built for a broad audience who love easy to pick up play experiences. The game features an energy mechanic where cars energy deplete over time, making players have a bit of a challenging time if you guys want to think about it. Comment down below if you have anything to say at all within our news. All right, and Mysterious Dots is here for the giveaways, and El Chris is just giving out so many sharks. J Sharks, Salsa, El Chris, hello there. You guys are so friendly today. Now, a listing for the game called Active Shooter has uh, sparked some pretty angry comments from the online community targeting developer revived games and even Valve. So the game, which is scheduled to launch on June 6, allows players to stimulate killing of civilians at a school. Concerned and appalled, many have taken to Twitter to question why such a game even exists and why Valve would allow it to be sold on their platform. The devs have responded by saying they might remove the shooter role. So what do you guys think about this? Because I know it's it's really been a topic when people talk about, you know, how violence in game doesn't have anything to do with violence in real life. So maybe that's why that was their stand. Making a shooter game, shooting innocent people in school would have been okay because that means people can give an outlet for, I don't know, in real life. What do you think about this? What do you think of violence in video gaming in general? Are people blaming this? Or are they actually onto something psychologically real? Now, what we have at uh, Shark style. Oh, thank you for the follow. Plants don't fly. Well, I do wish that this was part of our um, screen, but we'll, we'll try to see the kinks. I think we have something wrong with our screen. Now, prepare to take a different kind of Warhammer 4K experience, guys. Adeptus Titanicus Dominus will be debuting on Steam Early Access on May 31st. Will be the first game to put the spotlight on Titans. The game is based off the 1994 Titan Legions board game from the Games Workshop, having players controlling like massive Titan class mechs. If you're into mecha, this would be a perfect game for you. Terminator tells Risco, I use the Baikal Giant X10 power supply. Awesome. Now, guys, all key shop deal of the day is Middle Earth. As you guys know, the award winning title from Monolith Productions, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, is here. The game is the year of, uh, it's the game of the year edition currently at just 93% off from one of our trusted stores. The price comparison shows the game availability in the price of just one euro and 27 cents. Purchasing this directly on Steam is gonna cost you 19 euros, guys, and 99 cents. So, this great deal is you know for the award-winning game is really cool so please do type an exclamation point deal in the steam chat for you guys to check out the price comparison page once again exclamation point deal